Hey everybody, this is Shohan. Hopefully you all are doing well. And today I'm so excited because the company where I'm working is CNT Home Care. And the vice president of this company, Dr. Uzma Hussain, she came to Bangladesh to visit Dhaka office. Uh, actually, I'm so grateful to her because I have learned so many things from her. I learned about uh, human resources, I learned about communications, I learned about team management. So today I will try to take an interview with her and right now I'm waiting for my, my colleagues. So in the meantime, let me show you the office environment. We are very excited and we are very glad that you visited our office, you meet us in person. Uh, you have organized this company uh, not only, I mean, in a systematic manner, not only for the patient but also for, uh, for the employees who is working in here. So we are really grateful to work under your occupation. Well, he's our uh, light bearer. She is a, like a great leader who has inspired us to exit our capacity. I mean, if this organization is an ecosystem, so Uzma Mam is like water and James Bay is like oxygen. So all of us together is the elements of this ecosystem. And she makes us the punctual, however, the time maintain, how, how to communicate with the uh, other person with MNTC. About James Bay and Uzma Mam, I have to say that they are the gem of my life. Because when I have, I have no job, James Bay selected me. And after that, I'm joining as a uh, member of the department. And after that, they keep faith on me. They, after that, I'm going to the payroll customer service as a team leader that they selected me as manager. I would like to just mention one thing that uh, words cannot even qualify, not even quantify how helpful your guidance and uh, your advices have been for us. We're really grateful that right now you're among us. Uh, we have been waiting for so long. She is such an amazing personality such as inspirational for all of us and his hard working, his patience and interaction with us is amazing. So in one word she is like supportive. So why we can say she's supportive? Like whenever we need her, even in the like midnight during an assessment the nurse is not calling or picking up our calls and we need a Spanish translator so she can arrange. Actually, she, uh, she can arrange everything. The best part uh, about her is she is very detailed regarding each and everything. And uh, the thing that I love the most of her is her smile because uh, she smiles so nicely that she rejoices her surrounding and gives a positive energy. She's the Iron Lady. She's the Wonder Woman of CAT. And she is someone that I really look upon to. Um, your personality is really remarkable because the way you organized our team and full HR department is really amazing. Ms. Uzma has been a really inspirational person for me from the very beginning, how she has taught everything. So this has been a great journey with her till now, especially as I have been working in Lexa Park. We love you a lot. You are really a professional and supportive mentor to us. I have learned a lot from you. I have learned the professionalism. I have learned how to talk very nicely with confidence. I'm really excited to work under your leadership and also thanks for everything what you have done for my team. If I say very particularly, she is tremendously genius. She is uh, braver than she seems, she is stronger than she believes. I always love to do coding and try to implement new ideas with 
with it okay so the uzma ma'am was the first person in this company who valued my ideas and gave me a platform to show my ability when i see ma'am face i really forget all about my stress she's just wonderful and i really would like to uh, meet her again and again so i'm actually waiting for her next meeting that's a long time you came to bangladesh and this is the first time you're visiting dhaka office i know that you observe so many things so ma'am i'd like to ask you about your observation sure. about dhaka office environment and the employees definitely so one of the things that i love the most obviously my biggest excitement was to be able to actually talk in person with people that i've been talking to over teams for you know more than a year and a half so that's probably where my biggest excitement comes from but in terms of my observations so there's a lot of observations right both from wide scale observations and individual observations so in terms of wide scale one thing that i've probably taken the most out of you know seeing and meeting with people actually in person is seeing how much collaboration there is when we um go from department to department usually when i meet with people um from new york i see that i usually meet with one singular department i don't meet with multiple departments at once and so actually being able to converse with multiple departments in a day especially deliberately um thematically organizing them for example yesterday i met with all of the payroll departments we see how much collaboration there is going on there's um really a seamless way that departments are talking to one another leaders are talking to one another um in strategic ways that has helped us as a company greatly other observations that i've made are that people are happy next question is about ebv uh, this is a team that you build up so i believe you remember that day when we started and i would like to ask you about the transition from 2020 to to that I mean, you know, it is immense when we started. You know, EBB was new to everybody. This was something that, you know, uh, it was a DOH mandated rule and um whenever there's something new, whether it's in an organization or whether it is community wide, people are really skeptical. And so we sort of had to go with that skepticism. We had to create protocols and it was difficult because being new we had to learn all of it too we had to see you know what does this mean what are the glitches that will come up how do we deal with that how do we strategize and so we had hours of training we joke that there were days where we had you know five hour trainings over zoom and um was it worth it absolutely because now i see a team that's confident that really feels comfortable trying to solve any remaining issues i mean my goodness i i really mean it when i say i think that they're the best evb team in the state if not the country because not only do they really know what's going on but sometimes you know i joke that they even answer you know questions and solve problems quicker than hj or you know other evb companies out there because um they are really living it day by day and then if they don't know something they're really you know going and asking hj researching on the internet and and really trying to tackle these are smart people that are really working on it so um they they're really passionate about what they do they're passionate about solving the issues but the way that they talk about the patients and the aids they're really um wanting to solve the issues for them that you deserve to get paid you should get paid uh, last question is about your expectations so what do you expect from your employee <sighs> So, you know, that's a that's a really tough question because, you know, expectations are different for everyone, right? It's a it's a subjective question of, you know, because what we what we value is different, right? Everybody has a certain expectation for their work. So, um I you know my expectations are that people put in their most so um I think that comes from a very personal belief I try to put in the most with what I do so I kind of expect it from other people um I I expect that everyone is 
really respectful of each other. That's a huge expectation of mine. I even had a dream one day where I, like I was in Bangladesh and I was in the basement and I just kept going through doors and I was like, I have to meet them, I have to meet them. And it, like, it just, it was a dream, it was a nightmare because I kept opening all these doors. Now I see why there's so many doors. <laughs>